Hi, I'm Brianna. And I'm Akira. And you're watching Dante's, Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? Congratulations to Javante Davis. He became the youngest world champion tonight. And I just have one question to the decals. Can this man get his damn hope insurance now? I mean, everything you decals say you like, power, knockouts, body shots, uppercuts, tremendous speed, defense, Agility, boxing agility, ring generalship, matrix type stuff, and anything else I didn't mention. Oh yeah, and angles. I mean, this man, Javante Tank Davis, and I'm not saying he's on the level of these fighters, but Javante Tank Davis is a mixture of a Floyd Mayweather and a Mike Tyson. He has the power and the aggression of a Mike Tyson. He has the savviness, the intelligence, of a Floyd Mayweather. What I liked about Javante, by the way, let me just mention for the people who didn't see it, he knocked out Pedraza in the seventh round. He knocked him out with a vicious combination. He heard him earlier, uh, two rounds before that, with a vicious body shot. I believe it was a left hook to the body. And I kept saying, as soon as I seen that, oh, he's hurt, he's hurt bad. Because as confident as um, Jose Pedraza is in the, the defense or the chin, and how durable he is, you could clearly see that when he got caught with that left hook to the body, he brought his hands down and he was only trying to protect his body from that point on. And that's when uh, Javante, um, he continued to focus on the body and that set up other beautiful combinations. You know, this is not just winning a title. Javante had to beat a hell of an undefeated champion to win this title. Okay, it wasn't like he was just going up against some journeyman who just had a belt. You know, he wasn't going up against like a David Lemieux who had already been knocked out before and had already been beaten up. He was going up against a very good champion. Matter of fact, right before I watched this fight, I was watching uh, Jose Pedra uh, Pedraza versus Tevin Farmer. And when I watched that fight, I was like, oh my God, this guy is extremely talented. You know, he's very accurate with his punches. He throws punches in bunches. He has power. He can walk a fighter down because Terrence Farmer came out and he looked good, you know, kind of kind of boxing Jose Pedraza. But as Jose Pedraza got more aggressive, he started to walk down Tevin and Tevin couldn't keep up with Jose Pedraza's pace. But when it came to Javante Davis, Javante Davis, he was comfortable right on the inside with uh, Jose Pedraza. He wasn't gonna buckle to the pressure that Tevin Farmer did. So this was a very impressive performance. Once again, you know, these um, decafs, they claim that they like to see knockouts, they like to see entertainment and all this stuff, and they don't like boring fighters. Let's see if Javante Davis starts getting some of that Gennady Golovkin treatment. Let's see if the Grand Wizard of the decafs, Jim Lampley, starts praising Javante Davis on his TV show. Let's see if he puts him way close to the top of his gaddy list. Let's see what happens. So anyway, congratulations to Javante Tank Davis. I'll be talking more about this. That's all I got. I'm on to the next one, y'all.